车上如果有宽屏，这个时候呢，你派去的护士或者消防局的人员，他立刻可以跟医院的医生来对话。那这样的话，就使得急救的功效会更好。WiMAX 它有一个最大的好处，就能够缩短数位差距，让资讯能够变成我们生活的一部分，而且是非常重要的一部分。那么 ，Y Max 在这方面可以扮演很重要的角色。Commercial launch in Kaohsiung. We will not only cover home, right? We will also provide the YMAX service uh, to enterprise and uh, to uh, transportation. So we expecting those uh, handheld device, like a handset and a mobile device, to come out. Then, then the user will has a lot of. Uh, advantage using those devices. Roughly around November, uh, December time frame, we will launch commercial service. But before that, we're going to have trial service. We want to offer, uh, as I call it, 4A services. 4A means um, we can uh, use any device at any time, anywhere, to enjoy any services that we can provide. Yeah, we're planning to roll out a soft launch by the third quarter of this year. And then um, our plan for commercial launch will be at the end of this year, towards the fourth quarter. So initially, we're going to put our focus on two main products. One is a mobile WiMAX service, which is a database service. And then we're going to also provide a, a GoPhone platform to provide uh, some user application services. It is sure by the end of these years, we have the uh, official service launch. And uh, uh, in our planning, in August, we plan to have the soft launch. And uh, we are uh, selected some of the early adopters to as our trial users in that time. We are very exciting. We are very happy about uh, you know uh, the YMAX licensee be able to launch the services in Taiwan. As you know, for all the product applications, services provided is just ready for the service launch. So we take this as a very very significant milestone for us to further capitalize uh, our uh, investment on YMAX in the past couple of years. So that's a very very important thing for us.